ancient Egyptian royal motifs as referencing P. Cubensis by Nicholas B. Fela, audiobook. The motif of the sacred scarab symbol, or dung beetle, is a distinctly predominating theme in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs and amulets. The ancient Egyptians even depicted the dung beetle as a religious deity known as Capri. Its prevalence as sacred imagery has been ill-explained by past archaeologists and Egyptologists. Many historical explanations of the divinity attributed to this beetle have been based upon assumptions that the dynasties of ancient Egypt had misunderstood the biology of the beetle, and that it was this misunderstanding which led the Egyptians to keep the beetle in such high esteems. Secondary research, which was triggered by newly discovered evidence, obtained and presented by scholars such as Gordon R. Wasson, Roger Heim, Albert Hoffman, and others on the newly discovered genus of psilocybin mushrooms, offers possible explanations to more realistic motives behind ancient Egyptians' use of the sacred scarab symbol. By taking a holistic perspective on the Egyptian culture, through examining a variety of information ranging from accepted religious myths in ancient Egypt, to individual hieroglyphs, artifacts, and even monumental temple structures, as well as the historical ecology of Egypt, this paper deciphers the significance of the sacred scarab dung beetle, as well as the sacred cow, the sun disk, and the historical use of the two wheat ears symbolism with explanation of their possible encrypted reference to psilocybe. The connections made here are intended to provide information that may alter the current perspectives regarding many of ancient Egypt's most common motifs. Throughout ancient Egypt, the dung beetle, an insect of the order of Coleopetra, family of Scarabiaodia, genus of Caper, and the species of Caper Egyptorium, had become one of the most common symbols represented in Egyptian iconography. Ancient Egyptians would have collectively known this dung beetle as the sacred scarab. To illustrate how popular the symbol of the beetle became in ancient Egypt, it ought to be understood that the beetle was so sanctified by the people of ancient Egypt that they endowed it as a religious figure. Keper, also known as Kepri, is not only the modern genus name of the beetle, but also the name given to the actual Egyptian deity, whom was identified symbolically by a human body with a dung beetle for his head. Scarab beetles were apparently so important to the ancient Egyptian culture that their images are depicted all throughout royal tomb walls, in artwork, and in hieroglyphs. Many times they are depicted holding an orange or golden disc. Images of the sacred scarabs are not only included on paintings and engravings, but also range from simple to elaborate items, and were worn on all types of jewelry such as rings, necklaces, pectorals, and bracelets. Another popular object in Egypt that maintained this image is known as the heart scarab. Heart scarabs are small, varying in size, with some approximately 3 inches long, 2 inches wide, and about a half inch or larger in thickness. These manufactured figurines were commercially produced in ancient Egypt and closely resemble a scarab beetle with a flat base. The base contained varying engraved inscriptions. The amulets were traditionally mummified near the hearts of all deceased whom were given a proper burial, commoner and royalty alike. It was said that these amulets would assist in achieving an eternal afterlife. To exemplify the importance of this predominating insect symbol in the ancient world of Egypt, the scarab-shaped amulet with encryptions at the base also became the primary method for clay sealing documents and goods, similar to more modern wax sealing. And by circa 2000 BCE, all government officials, high and low, were appointed scarab amulets with their names and titles engraved upon the base. Some hard scarab amulets, which were encrypted with the name of deceased rulers, are said to have been produced in bulk and were historically offered at funerary temples as souvenirs by the royal families. A variety of scarab amulets, no single one identical, were manufactured from practically any kind of stone available, and even the use of precious metals are seen in scarab objects. It has been said that the popularity of the scarab motif was equaled only to that of the famous Eye of Horus. From about 2200 BCE to late in Egyptian history, scarabs remained one of the most common objects manufactured in all of Egypt.
The number of scarab items found is in the hundreds of thousands, with scarab symbolism and items located within every single excavation site across Egypt, many of which include a depiction of an orange or golden disc in the beetle's grasp or between its wings. The physical dung beetle, or scarab, is typically about 8 to 11 millimeters long, black, and has encased wings on its back, which it can expand and use for short-term, low-elevation flights at heights of about a half meter above the ground. Today we see the majority of extant beetles within the order of Coleopetra scarabida typically display one of two behavioral traits. One, rollers, which is a task of the male beetles who use their powerful spade-like forearms to collect and mold dung into a nearly perfect sphere or ball about four to five times its size, comparable to the size of an apple, which is then easily rolled to their tunnel or buried in sand. Two, tunnelers. Believed to be the focus of female beetles, these beetles burrow tunnels often directly beneath cow dung, where they will store dung for food, nest building, and egg laying. The tunnelers start by burrowing four to eight inches deep into the ground where they will then hollow out a chamber. The chambers are approximately four inches square in which the beetle brings the dung and mushroom material into. Next, in the small hollowed four inch chamber, the female uses the material from the dung and mushrooms to form a nesting ball. The nesting ball is not a perfect spherical ball like the others which are rolled and used only as a food source, but instead the nesting ball is pear shaped and includes a hollow piercing at its tip. Note the shape of the Egyptian Ankh. It is at the hollow piercing of the tip in which the eggs will be placed before the chamber is then sealed off. Furthermore, once the scarab eggs hatch, the newborn pupus burrow deeper into the earth and create a second underground chamber while further developing until emerging weeks later. Interestingly, some authors have noted that there seems to be striking resemblances with the human burial sites in Egypt utilizing these tunnel chambering techniques with mummies resembling the scarab in its pupa stage. The relationship of the scarab beetle to cow dung is so intertwined that the development of the sacred scarab from egg to adult has only been documented by the use of cow dung. Furthermore, the connection to certain dung beetles and cow's dung can be seen in the controlled studies where lifespans were significantly lower for beetles whom were fed foods without dung. Reproduction was also not replicable within controlled environments where dung as a food source was not made available and instead replaced by other possibly viable substrates. A particularly notable aspect regarding the sacred scarab behavior, which was previously alluded to, is that the beetle is known to incorporate mushroom fruit bodies with the focus of mushroom cap and gill sections into both its brood and feeding sources. To further motivate these behaviors, the wet seasons are not only when the maximum dung beetle activity occurs, but also the same wet seasons are the times in which the mushroom fruit bodies are typically in most abundance as well. This notable tendency for dung beetles to feed on mushrooms and incorporate them into nesting has been recorded in several cases and has been well documented in controlled studies where, quote, abundant species were attracted to a variety of food types, but several species appeared to specialize on either dung and or mushrooms, unquote. These facts serve to illustrate that many dung beetles depend on strict use of both dung and mushrooms as the beetle's sole resources of housing and nutrition. A remarkable feature of the cattle dung, which is utilized by the beetles, is the dung's highly supportive nature toward not just any mycological life, but instead, cattle dung is particularly known for producing a psychoactive, hallucinogenic, psilocybin cubensis species. Mushroom species containing psilocybin are said to occur on all continents throughout the globe, including areas of New Guinea, Africa, Colombia, Mexico, Peru, Argentina, Venezuela, and others. Studies of the psilocybin mushroom in both southern Mexico and Houston have shown P. cubensis to thrive, quote, exclusively in pastures on decomposing cow dung 
or found on cow dung and rice hull compost in fields that support cattle, unquote. Rice hull can be expected to show mycological growth, as cultivation of mushrooms has been successfully applied to a variety of grain substrates, particularly grains which do not become soft when boiled, primarily cereal straws such as wheat straw, rice bran, millet straw, soybean straw, and brewer's grain. It appears then that the learned ability of cultivating mycology on wheat substrates, which were particularly abundant in ancient Egypt, can ultimately explain the integration of wheat images with the golden disc in place of the scarab motif with the golden disc. The reason that these mushrooms would have been so sacredly cultivated is because the psilocybin mushrooms contain a special kind of neurotropic hallucinogenic chemical called psilocybin. These mushrooms are famous for their golden or orange tops or caps. It has been well documented that these mushrooms are currently and traditionally used extensively by natives throughout regions of Mesoamerica during religious ritual and ceremony. These mushrooms are known to these native groups as little saints or flesh of the gods and it is French mycologist Roger Heim who is credited for the discovery that psilocybe species is the neurotropic mushroom which has traditionally been used during spiritual practices, showing that these quote cow patty mushrooms unquote have in fact historically been used for ceremony and therefore ancient Egyptians would not be an exclusive group to utilize this substance in ritual. To further explain the importance and sincerity of these substances in religious ceremony, it is important to note that, quote, the Mazatec do, moreover, sometimes suggest it is Christ who speaks to them during their hallucination, unquote. Therefore, it is possible that the attributed neurotic effects of psilocybe to induce spiritual or hallucinogenic experiences which are, quote, commonly known as ego death and spiritual rebirth were apparently a central, though well-hidden element in many Egyptian religious rituals." Unquote. Historically, elite classes using encrypted symbolism to maintain hidden messages is not new, and psychoactive substances such as psilocybin mushrooms are traditionally used by the priestly shamanic classes during religious ceremony and or ritualistic settings that are, more often than not, conducted covertly and with great secrecy. As illustrated on an Egyptian passage from the Book of the Dead, a funerary text reserved for the walls of royalty, which reads, quote, And you shall perform these ceremonies secretly. Let no stranger anywhere have knowledge of it. Do not speak about it to any man. Do not repeat it. Unquote. The symbolism of the cattle as sacred has also become an extremely common motif within ancient Egyptian artwork. Motifs of the sacred cattle, usually depicted with the disc between its two horns, became a central theme throughout royal religious societies. It is commonly accepted that the bull was historically worshipped in ancient Egypt by groups known with names such as the cults of Menvis, Bucus, Apis, and others. Cattle were so highly ritualized in Egypt that they were culturally portrayed as royalty and even manifestations of deity. The cattle of Egypt, both males and females, typically have larger and more distinct elongated horns when compared to western breeds. The cattle itself, as well as just the horns, can be found in royal Egyptian motifs in several forms such as engravings, statues, and paintings and are often depicted with a disc, typically golden, between its horns. The disc and horn symbol combination therefore appears to be related to the psilocybe producing dung which is utilized by the sacred beetle. The bull horns, as the two wheat stalks, seem to have become a simple replacement or interchangeable symbol for the beetle arms or wings which traditionally flanked the golden disc. To exemplify this point that the horn and disc symbols are interchangeable with the beetle and disc motifs, we often see a scarab or bird figure underneath the horns. The bird then, commonly falcons or vultures, can easily be interchanged with the bird-like flying scarab motif as an encrypted substitute. 
Egyptian motifs are also depicted with the beetle blatantly holding the disc and horns simultaneously, presumably to enunciate the symbol combinations. To articulate the sacredness of cattle within the ancient Egyptian empire, it ought to be considered that excavations of Egypt show entire temple structures built specifically for housing and diligently caring for sanctified cattle. The cattle were even depicted as the embodiment of Pharaoh. When the time came, these sacred cattle were bestowed funerary services fit for a king. A sacred cattle's funerary rites would include mummification entailing a heart scarab, treasured gifts, and burial within a sarcophagi, which was specifically made large enough to fit an entire mummified bull. One excavated necropolis of sacred bulls, known as the Serapium of Saqqara, is located near Cairo, Egypt, in a huge underground gallery which contained the massive sarcophagi of some 30 sacred mummified bulls. The large sarcophagi are carved from granite or limestone and each is accompanied with inscriptions describing the periods in which the sacred bull had lived. The sacred bull's connection to the cow dung inhabiting scarab and therefore psilocybe was exemplified by a mark of the scarab encrypted onto the bull's tongue. When archaeologists originally attempted to decipher the importance of these different symbols in ancient Egypt, the themes were simply overlooked by researchers, many of which had little or no information regarding psilocybe. It was previously thought by Egyptologists that the entire ancient Egyptian civilization, including royalty, must have held a, quote, misunderstanding of the behavior and nest building activities of some dung beetles, unquote and that that misunderstanding was maintained throughout the entire history of ancient Egypt for over three millennia. Until recent times, it has thus been accepted that the pharaohs, which are attributed to massive monumental works such as pyramid structures, and whom are said to have been in charge of vastly stretching empires that reigned longer than any known civilization to date, quote, misunderstood the actual birth cycle of the beetle and that they apparently thought of the beetle as being a single sex, male, which planted his seed in the round dung ball out of which came his offspring." Unquote. The notions ascribed to the sacred scarab were thus that the dynasties reigning in Egypt were never aware of the activities of the female beetles. Previously, scholars have accepted these simple notions that ancient Egyptians, quote, very early associated the mistaken view of the dung beetle with the divine power they called Capri, who was a form of the sun god Ra, the morning sun reborn by self-regeneration." Thus it can be stated that the new evidence recently provided by Watson and others on sacred psilocybin mushroom use and conglomeration with a plethora of other research has given overwhelming support to this alternative theory one which propounds that Egyptian artists were not, quote, misunderstanding, unquote, but instead were misunderstood, and that the motifs of the scarab pushing a sun disk is in fact not a depiction of an actual sun at all, but rather inferably the golden cap of a psilocybin mushroom.